Hey, I'm going to show you how to update the navigation system in your Kia Soul EV or quite a few other Kias uh, that have the SD card slot here. So uh, it's a fairly simple process. The first thing that I want you to do is I want you to press the setup button and then tap on general. Okay, and then under software info, you will see software, your software info here. Take a picture of this with your phone so that you know what version it is. As you can see here, my version is 230919. So now that you've got this information stored on a picture, shut off your car, open up your SD card slot and take this out. Now on some models of cars, the SD card is underneath the, the dash somewhere. So you'll need to know where that is. This is a 2016 Kia Soul EV. So now that you got this, you're gonna need a different SD card. The one from Kia is 16 gigs. The updates now are over 20 gigs. So you, that 16 gig card is not gonna be big enough. So you need a 32 gig card. I've had some weird experiences where it's not taking the update and I've had to buy a different card and try various different cards until it reads the card. I don't know why. It seems that it is finicky with certain brands or certain types of cards. I've always made sure that they're minimum of a class 10 card or a um, UHC one, I believe is what that is. So I've stick with, I've, I stick with name brand cards. This SanDisk worked well, however, a Kingston that I have doesn't work. Now you're gonna to go to this website, update.kia.com. I'm in Canada, so it shows me the English Canadian version. And at the bottom, you're gonna to go to download navigation updater. So you're gonna download that. Once your navigation updater is installed, you're gonna select your car. So you'll see that there's quite a different off, few different options here. I have the Kia Soul Electric. I have the 2015-2016. You can, you can enter the software version. That's what you uh, took a picture of in the car. It will then show you what you have here. Standard class. It'll show you what, it is, what you need. It's a standard class SD card. FAT32. Click OK. Oh, so it will then tell you about your size requirements. So it's a speed class 10 or greater, FAT32 system. It will tell you the recommended specs of your card here. Click OK. So it'll now format the card. My recommendation is use a different card because you can slide the existing card back into the car and use your current maps, okay? So I'm using a different card. The card that was in my Kia is still here. So click yes. It's now going to go on the internet and it's going to copy those files. It's going to download and copy those files. So I've already copy, I've already downloaded the, the files. So it's just copying to the card. Now you're going to let that progress. It'll take some time. Once it's complete, you'll see this screen. So it's been downloaded and installed onto the SD card. So now you can close after deleting temporary files. Click yes. I've not seen any documentation that says one way or the other, but I put in this card before I turn on the car. Like that, when it powers up, it's uh, not hot swapping it. So I'm gonna turn on my car. So if you do not see this, then even though your card is fine and may work fine on a car, uh, on a computer, your car is not recognizing it. The other card I have in the house is my Lexar card. I, I said Kingston before, but it's a Lexar card. And that one will not work. And I don't know why. It's a 32 gig card. It is got the class 10. It's formatted with the correct file system. 
but for whatever reason, this car doesn't like it. Okay, so once you have it started up, you go to Setup, General. You're gonna go back to this screen where it shows you the software info. This time you're gonna tap on Update. Okay, so you're gonna click OK. And now it's going to run through the update. So once the bar reaches, the progress bar reaches the right, all the way to the right side, it'll keep clocking for a while. Okay, so it stayed at the full bar of pro, the full progress bar for checking for about five or six minutes. So just because it's doing that, don't freak out. Just stay patient, and eventually you'll see the copying files. And again. You'll see the progress bar is completely filled in, still copying files. So now it's going to do the update. Again, I suspect that once it's through the entire progress bar that it will take a little bit longer. Okay, so now I need to turn off the system and restart it, I think. Oh no, there it is. Oh. So it did restart on its own. I did not need to push the button. Now it's doing the upgrade. This is a pretty lengthy process, as you'll see. I now had another reboot. Same message again. Let's see. There, okay, I didn't push any buttons. So now it did another check and now it's doing this sub mycom. I don't know what that is, main mycom. Oh, because it's doing more than just navigation, right? It's gonna do some other updates too. I think this one actually had some UI updates if I'm not mistaken. I don't remember. So far, this has been taking about half hour. Okay. So regular startup screen. Wait for navigation to start. Let's go to setup. Okay, general. Now I should see the update here. So 241029. So this is now the software version for the end of last year. Okay. So I can go back to my map, which probably is Oh, what I'm going to show you guys. There we go. Okay. So Kia dealership shows up here. Charging stations shows up. Okay. So that is your update. I hope that helps you get your Kia navigation infotainment system updated. If it fails, try a different SD card. And worst case scenario, because you didn't delete the other SD card, you can always go back to the old version. Thanks for watching. See you next time.